Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and today we'll be taking a look at, well, this. This is Aoni, a Japanese character from a Japanese horror game. Aoni literally means blue demon. So, yeah, looks pretty demonic to me. You can see we have a bunch of different designs. A lot are very strange. Many of them are very strange. And we're gonna see exactly how well they work in Gary's Mod and what all of them look like. There's a lot to go over today, so we're not gonna waste any time. If you guys like what you see, let me know what you think in the comments, and maybe leave a like if you like the video. If anyone suggested this, you'll be down below. If you guys wanna suggest a mod, do it in the comment section down below or my Discord page in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? So not much of an overview, I understand, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of NPCs. And I think we should go over all the characters. So these are all the human characters. In fact, one is the main character, Hiroshi. We have Hiroshi, Mika, Takeshi, and Takuro. So a nice amount of human characters. Don't get used to it because they're the only human characters in the mod, but you'll see why. This is Aoni. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. It is a very strange oblong looking figure that is blue. He's also apparently a demon, which I can definitely believe. <laughs> now we don't see a health bar, but you'll notice that all the human characters naturally run away from him as you'd expect of course and if we were to get rid of Aoni you could see they stop running and they just kind of do whatever they <coughs> uh Takeshi but anyway you could see they just kind of hang out they don't necessarily run from anything in particular but the second that we spawn Aoni you'll see they change direction and immediately run away from him unfortunately Takuro couldn't get away fast enough. And you guys, I've never played the game, but you can see right there how Oni can climb walls. He can also open doors and move props out of the way. This was classic Ao Oni. We also have just Ao Oni, which has 10,000 health. So what does Ao Oni do when he gets you? You get a game over screen. And for some reason, he turned around. Oh, and also, what's good, fellas? The drip is real. We also have classic Aoni, no darkness. To compare it to this, you can see Aoni has like a dark outline. He's also just very um, dim. But then here we have a, well, you know, this should be wide, Aoni. Man looks pretty wide, I gotta say. Oh no! Was that Takeshi? Alright, now we're gonna get into the ridiculous ones. This is our Oni female. It's just our Oni with pigtails. This is somewhat alarming. I don't really know what to think about this. Also, it's insanely difficult to kill these things. As you'll see, a lot of them don't even have like very easily viewable health bars. They're in like strange places. I just had it there for a second. I don't even think we're doing any damage though. No, we are. We can kill it. It's just there's gonna be a lot of them. But some are more exquisitive, like Aoni holding a painting. It's just Aoni holding a painting of himself. Is it a painting of his face or is he plowing his face through the painting? Hmm, that's the real question. We can't see because unfortunately it is just a 2D image, but it definitely makes you wonder. All right, I gotta see what the death animation looks like. Some of them do have animations when they kill you, but most of them don't. Ow Oni South Park. Really? I feel like there's a South Park character of every single character now. And he, he doesn't do anything interesting. Here's a creepy one. <laughs> blob Ao Oni. Or Bloboni. I think I like Bloboni better. But <laughs> you can see it's just an amalgamation of eyes and 
some kind of purple matter. My guess is the primary matter of Aoni. It's like he's been globulated. And when he kills you, well, nothing happens. Blockman. I think this one's a little bit different. This isn't Aoni exactly. And he does function a bit differently. We can see he'll kind of lunge at you. If we spawn him once again, he's going slow, he's going slow, he's going slow, and then yeet! And it's already too late. He kind of resembles Domo. Caterpillar Oni. This is more akin to that of a Trevor Henderson creature. <laughs> Would you guys agree? It looks very cryptid-esque. Would this prop get in his way? He is supposed to be able to break through props, but I think that he's a little temperamental. When he kills you, nothing really happens, but still the drip is real. Next up we have Clock Oni. Ew. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? It doesn't even look like a clock, it just looks like a, a pulsating undulation of nastiness. And, well, it kills you when you touch it, but it won't really come after you because it's supposed to be a clock? Clown Oni. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. Look at this. He does the same thing that Blockman does. He lunges at you when he gets a... Oh, God. I spoke about him and he came. There's no way that's a coincidence. Damaged Oni. So if you were to actually hurt this thing, theoretically this is what it would look like. You can see he's definitely suffering from some pretty nasty injuries. My question is, someone had to do this for him. Someone had to wrap him up in these bandages. Now my question is, who? Who would want to help out a blue demon? If clowns aren't your thing, how about a dark clown? Alright. We're getting a little ridiculous with this, guys. Deformed Oni. Literally, just contorted. Dragon Oni. <laughs> why? Why is this a thing? Why do these exist? And why are they so interesting? Eggplant Oni. I know what you guys are thinking. You know, guys, sometimes Oni is, uh, well, he likes to eat. And in that case, Fat Oni. Yep, you can see he's struggling to move around now. Definitely a bit slower than he usually is. And maybe that's because he doesn't just kill people, but he eats them. Flying Oni. It's a lot like Dragon Oni, but less scary. Frozen Teeth Oni. This one looks especially creepy. Does he freeze you? No. No, he doesn't. All right. We've hit a new standard. Just God. Not God Oni, just God, which is weird because he's a demon. How does a demon become a god? Well, he just does. God face. Oh my god. Someone save me from this. <laughs> what is this monstrosity? This is no god. This is demon incarnate. Gray outfit, Clown Oni. No, 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 no. It's not Dark Outfit Oni. This is Dark Outfit. You can see there. And then Gray Outfit. A slightly lighter tone of color. Hikakin Oni? What? Who is this? <laughs> it looks like it's modeled after a real person. What? Why is... Why is this an Oni? Is this... His true identity. Jellyfish Oni. This looks like it belongs in a weird episode of SpongeBob. And do I really want to know what it does? It killed me, surprise. Kuro Oni. Okay, this one is just like not even weird or creepy. This one's just straight terrifying, absolutely. This is the standard horror definition right here. He's pretty special, he even gets his own soundtrack. No animation though. Miku Oni. Oh god. You can see it still has her hair. Let's spawn that again. You can see the transformation. So we know now that our Oni can take a disguise depending on who it is, I guess. Next up is the most horrifying one of all. Mouse. And you can see he'll never let us get close enough. 
Always staying at a distance. Never able to close said distance. For that would destroy the space-time continuum. No, I don't know. Well, we got him cornered now. What's up, little guy? Hello. Pirate Oni. It's just Oni cosplaying as a pirate. Puppet Oni. Here we go. This is starting to get really out of hand now. And for some reason, he really wants to get up on that building. Does he just loom over us? Taunting us? Constantly? Roach Oni. Are you serious? A goddamn cockroach? And it still kills you in one hit. Next up, we have Satellite Oni. Oh my god, why? Why? <laughs> how does this make any sense in the context of the game? Does he orbit the Earth? That's how we describe a satellite. Is it... Is it orbiting our life? Is that why it's a satellite? We'll never escape it because it's always there? I'm reading too far into this. I feel like I'm saying Uni instead of Oni. So if I am, I'm sorry. This one is more akin to that of like a horror movie. We could see he looks like a very dangerous creature now, not just mysterious, but definitely very threatening. And I don't even want to know what he does, but we're going to do it anyway. He kills you. Zero Oni Spider. It looks like the, the Glob Oni. Yeah, the Blob, the Blob Oni, sorry. It looks like Blob Oni, but with legs and a face for some reason. You know guys, sometimes Oni doesn't get to eat a lot. And if this happens, well we have skinny Oni. It's an unfortunate circumstance that happens to the best of us, but sometimes we we go through issues where we just cannot eat and well, poor Oni has suffered the same fate. So what happens when he eats you? Even when given the chance to eat, he simply does not. Next up is, oh god, please kill me. A spider oni. Ugh, it's just creepy. Squato. <laughs> Damn, oni's been lifting. And now he lurks behind the tree lines. Takeshi oni. Pretty much just him disguised as Takeshi. We can see he keeps his pretty sweet hairdo. Teeth Oni. This looks more like a demon to me. He, he's, he's really starting to get there, for me at least. However, the rest of him still looks the same. But if that's a problem, we have white outfits clown Oni. That makes like four different kinds now. Sometimes guys, you want to go out there in the wilderness. That's where wild Oni comes in. Akin to that of a Native American. And, yes, still creepy. And last up, guys, we have Zombie Ao Oni, which is just him as a zombie. But why would a demon become a zombie? And there you have it, guys. That was all the Ao Onis. Can you believe we looked at every single one of these? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below if you want to see more mod showcases. Leave some suggestions in the comments or my Discord page down below. And leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more mod showcases. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. You guys are seriously the best. Let's keep going, let's keep kicking ass, and until next time, farewell. As always guys, the last video I did will be on the left, and a random video will be on the right. Thanks for watching until the end, and until next time.